Eric Nash è laureato in comunicazione visiva. È stato operatore per le scene con effetti visivi in Star Trek il film e ha lavorato otto stagioni come cameraman responsabile degli effetti visivi delle serie televisive Star Trek The Next Generation e Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Il suo lavoro gli è valso due Emmy Awards. 11 years ago we still did a lot of miniature work. Uh, much less was done digitally. These days it's almost entirely done digitally. Uh, it's more the exception than the rule that we would use miniature photography. Um, but also, especially now, we've got uh, virtual production technology that's changing the way we do things and um, putting a lot more responsibility for overall filmmaking in the hands of visual effects. On Real Steel, we used uh, what a lot of us refer to as virtual production technology. And this uses motion, motion capture to uh, have performers serve as the animation source for synthetic characters. But we also use motion, picture, motion capture technology to do virtual camera work prior to principal photography, as well as using that same technology on location through Simulcam to make synthetic characters visible through the camera as we shoot the live action. Performance capture takes uh, performers, whether actors or stuntmen, um, they wear a special suit that has tracking markers on it that are visible to an array of cameras that feeds the joint position of their skeleton into Motion Builder software which is then targeted onto synthetic characters, allowing those synthetic characters to move exactly as their human counterpart did on the motion capture stage. One of the big differences is the time frame allowed. Um, TV series are uh, produced much more quickly than motion pictures. Uh, and it's a sort of a never-ending flow of work, whereas a movie is a much longer process, a big ramp up, um, and then when it's done, you're done and on to a completely different project. With episodic television, it's a lot of repetition um, and on a very tight schedule. I think one of the most important things somebody interested in visual effects uh, can do is learn as much as they can about photography because even though so much is done purely in the computer these days ultimately what we're trying to create is something that looks photographic and uh, artists who have a thorough understanding of photography have a real advantage over those who don't.